I think the non-custodial sentencing benefits offenders in the sense that the courses or programs that they attend uh, impart skill on them. My personal view is that there are many cases out there where people can benefit from rather attending a course than be sentenced to 600 rand or 60 days imprisonment where he doesn't have the 600 rand and he needs to go to prison for 60 days. And two days there he's already spent the 600 rand that he would have paid for the fine and it's a burden on the state. First of all, it is less of a burden for the taxpayers because uh, we do not need to maintain people in prisons. Uh, Short-term imprisonment isn't really the answer. Uh, the burden that it places on the family and on the person that's been sentenced to imprisonment is usually to such an extent that the person will lose his job. It forces them usually into a situation where they re-offend and that means they stay within the criminal justice system. I think the non-custodial sentencing is preferable in especially your minor offences. The idea is that one should try and rehabilitate rather than try and make the person a burden on the criminal justice system or on the correctional services system. When considering the appropriate sentence, the court looks at the accused, his personal circumstances, the seriousness of the offence, as well as the interest of the society. And it is very important for a magistrate to first determine what type of person he is dealing with. Because non-custodial sentences are not meant for your dangerous criminals. It is for your criminals that can be rehabilitated. It is for your offenders um, that there is really a chance that you can make a difference in that person's life. Because we have to be honest to say that certain type of offences and certain type of offenders would not fall within the scope of the non-custodial sentencing. You see, it's very important to get the input of a victim. I mean, that's the person who went to the police to complain in the first instance. And it's easy to say yes, but the state takes over the prosecution and they dominus litters and they are the ones who decide what happens from there with the case. The fact of the matter is that they also should have a say in how a specific matter should be treated. I think victims can feel assured that magistrates will always, in considering an appropriate sentence, take their interest into account and impose a sentence that they feel is suitable in the circumstances.